Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be focusing on improving our conversation skills. So, this class is mostly for beginners, but um, if you're not a beginner, that's okay too. Uh, hello, Belin. How's it going? Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. Okay, so I think um, some more people should be joining shortly because last time I checked, the class was fully booked, which means that all the reservations were taking up. Um, so I think those people should be joining shortly, and then we'll get started. Billy, does my um, video look okay, or is it yes. slow? It looks okay. Yes, it's oh. okay. Okay, good. All right. Um, okay, Karina. So, uh, if you have a reservation, what you need to do, um, you should see, not on this side, but over here, it should say join class. So, if you click on that, then you should be able to join. Okay, um, Delicio Mod. You do need a Google Plus account. It says that it's not supported. Um, hmm. Maybe try. What does it say exactly? Okay, so I think some people are having some trouble who have reservations because it looks like Karina and Delicio Mar um, are both having trouble. So just a reminder, if you do have a reservation, then you should be able to click join uh, within the first two minutes. And then afterwards, you should be able to get in. Okay, is my video working okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I think we have a full class. Hopefully everybody who had a reservation got in. If you didn't and you had a reservation, um, you can message me here, and I can help you afterwards. Okay. So I think we have one more person joining. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So I think um, all the spots are full, so we're good. Hi, guys. My name is Joe. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. And today, um, we're going to be practicing our conversation skills. So if you're a beginner and um, you need to practice, this will help a lot. If you're an intermediate and you have practice, um, this might be a little bit easy for you. Uh, but either way, it's still speaking practice, which everybody needs. So the first thing that we're going to do is have everybody introduce themselves by saying your name, where you're from, and how long you've been learning English for. And one one thing before you guys answer, uh, one thing that Eddie Co. 3000 pointed out is if you're not speaking, if you're not talking, then try to mute your microphone because otherwise the microphone will pick up your breathing. So like for example, if I'm not talking, it sounds like this. So just when you're not speaking, please mute your, remember to mute your microphone. And if you don't know how to do that, it's up here. There's a little button and it has a microphone. And it has a slash through it. Click on that and it'll turn red. Okay. So first we'll have 
Berlin. Yes. I'm Belen. I'm from Argentina. And I have a learned English in in high school for seven years. But since six years I don't speak so I I try to practice now with that and other things. All right, welcome. Um, next we have Eric. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm from Dominican Republic and I am Beverly students. And how long have you been studying English? Almost a month uh, here. Almost a month. Almost a month. Okay, good. All right. Uh, next we have Heba. Heba. Yes. My name is Heba. I'm from Egypt. Uh, I am learning English for um, 11 years, but I stopped learning for uh, 7 years, and now I'm trying to learn English more. Okay. Cool. Uh, next we have Jose. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jose. I'm from Colombia. I try uh, to learn English uh, for Berlin myself. Um, um, no, no. <laughs> All right, and how long? So for how long have you been learning English? For two years. Two years. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. Um, next we have Juan Pablo. Hi again, yo. Hey, how's it going, Juan? Hi, everyone. My name is Paul or Pablo, and I'm from Mexico. And I studied English um, two years ago here in Berlin around two weeks. Yes. Two weeks. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Next we have Mahmoud. Yep. Uh, I'm Mahmoud from Egypt. 22 years old, uh, learning English uh, uh, since uh, 1969. Wait, you mean 1996? Nine, uh, 1969. Wait, like this? No, 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 no. Uh, That's 1969. <laughs> Wait, okay, did you mean this? Yeah. Okay, so that's 1996. Okay. 90. Here, I'll write it for you. Somebody has heavy breathing. So yeah, it might be me, so I'll, I'll meet mine because I do have heavy breathing. But if you have heavy breathing, which heavy breathing means this, <sighs> just remember to... Or you can do it up there. Um, okay. Next, we have Paul. Um, Hi. Hi. My name is Paul, and I am from Peru. I have a uh, 25 years old. I started study English uh, four months ago. Four months ago. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, next, we have Paula. Hi, um, my name is Paul. I'm from Brazil. I have studied English five years ago, but I'm have um, trying to practice before my trip. I'm going to Canada in December, and that's all. Wow. Okay, so you're going to Canada in December. So you have, uh, like six, seven months. Six months. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, Alright. And next we have... Felipe? Yes, sir. So, my name is Felipe. I'm from Brazil. Um, well, I've started to learn, to learn English in high school, but I couldn't really learn anything there, so... Three years ago, I started to learn English for you. Okay. Okay, three years. Okay. Good. All right. So, welcome, everybody. It sounds like most of you have uh, some prior experience, but you're just kind of trying to refresh it and practice some more and improve it. Um, so, I guess we could consider most of you beginners, um, which is good. And even if you think that you're maybe um, upper beginner or intermediate even, then this will still help um, because what we're going to be doing is just practicing basic conversation skills. Because once you do that, then you can take your English to another level. So what we're going to be doing today is just getting to know each other. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is asking a general question. Um, like, what's your favorite type of music? Then anybody can volunteer and answer. It won't be, you won't have to raise your hand or, or ask to speak. You can just speak. Um, and then that way you, everybody gets a chance to speak. Um, we all get a chance to get to know each other. Um, and then afterwards, once you guys are starting to get the hang of it, if we have time, we can move up to maybe some more difficult questions, if you guys feel comfortable. So, um, the first question for today is, um, what do you do? So that question is very common um, when you meet somebody. And it can mean two things. It, can, it, it means, what do you do with your time? So your answer might be, I study in college, at, at the university, in high school. Um, I work. And then you would say, I work as blah, blah, blah. Like, I work as a teacher. I work as a desk assistant. I work as a secretary, etc. So the first question is, what do you do? And so, like I said, anybody can start. Um, but we won't go on till the next question until everybody answers. So just answer when you feel comfortable. Um, and that's how we'll do things. So, what do you do? What do you guys do? Uh, I study. At the, um, I study at the university. I study foreign trade. So this is like my last year, and I will be graduating soon. And I hope I can find some good job after it. Cool. That's interesting. All right. Anybody else? I am a teacher. Okay. The women first. Women first. Okay. Um, me. Yeah. I'm a I'm a doctor. Oh, um, I just met, uh, graduated last year, and I work uh, in in a hospital, like resident. Ah, okay. So, I think in English we say you're doing your residency, which is like. Residence, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Anybody else? Hi. My name is Eric, and I was I am a teacher, and I'm looking for a job now for a teacher in a teacher position. Do you looking for and what kind of teaching? Like in teaching Spanish, teaching English, teaching. I'm teaching my ch chemical and physics, and now I'm trying to improve my English for because be, because I want to be a teacher in physics or, or chemistry, but in English, a bilingual teacher. Oh wow, that's really cool. So you want to be, um, so you want to teach chemistry and physics, but in English. So you want to. Yes. yes. Okay. I want, wow. I want that job. That would be really cool. All right. It must be anyway. hard. Yeah, it would be it would be hard though because physics itself is hard whether it's in Spanish, English, Arabic, French, yeah. whatever. Um, I but can't then, understand in my own language. 
Yeah, yeah, I know for me too. It was it was difficult, but that would that would definitely be an interesting job. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Teacher me. I uh, I stayed at home and uh, I'm trying to practice English uh, the conversation. Okay, so you stay at home and, and you're trying to practice English and improve it? Yeah. I try to develop uh, my English language. Good. That's really good. All right, I think Jose, right? You wanted I work, to. I work as um, a supermarket manager, um, and in my free time, I study English. You work as a supermarket manager, and you practice your English. Good. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Uh, hi, um, I am engineer systems and and study at university. Uh, my second career, and I I want to improve my English. What was the first part that you said? Did you say engineer or information? Uh, engineer systems. Ah, uh, okay. So like a systems engineer. System engineer, okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Anybody else? Was that ever? That was, I think that might have been. Everybody everybody in, the, in the classroom are too shy. Too shy? Yeah, I mean, if you guys don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable answering this question or you want to wait till the next one, that's okay. Um, how about we go on to the next one then? Great, great. Okay. okay, so the next question is um, what type of music do you listen to? So maybe name a few artists or bands or maybe your favorite songs. Can I answer, teacher? Yeah, anybody. Yes. I like to reggaeton, I like reggae. I like social music, like uh, protests, social protests, like guerrilla, guerrilla radio. You know guerrilla radio? Radio no. guerrilla. Can you read so it down? Like, guerrilla. I don't think I've heard of that. Guerrilla. It's the, uh, do you know the persons uh, fights, for example, in Colombia, the civil war, the people fight ah, yeah. in in the in the lands. They call uh. themselves guerrilla, the guerrilla. Just for this, and I know American groups they call themselves guerrilla radio. Ser guerrilla radio. Guerrilla radio, so, something like that. I like to so also to listen classical music and brain wave. You know of the brain wave? Brain wave or Brainwave? No. The brainwave. Brainwave? brainwave is, it's a uh, uh, subliminal music. Something you like uh, special uh, frequencies and you, you and you listen to that for become more uh, focused and tense or more relaxed or more did well, uh, doing well. And can you also looking for in YouTube, brain, Brainwave in YouTube. You will find that, that kind of music. So brainwave. Like electronic music, Brainwave. It's, okay. it's music preparation for your brains. Ah, okay. I'll write that down and see if I can find something. Okay. Interesting. I've never heard of that. Um, anybody else? What type of music do you listen to? You know, uh, Emily? Emily? Yep. No, Emily. I have a band, the uh, Evinces. Can you, can you write the band name? Okay. Evanescence. Evanescence. Yep. For some reason, that kind of sounds familiar, but I can't. I need to see it like written down. It's kind of gothic rock song, I guess. Oh, how do you pronounce Evanescence? No. Yeah, Evan. 
And then since, okay, yeah, the name, okay, I never heard it, like, the name pronounced, but yeah, okay, I've heard of that. Okay. Cool. Anybody else? The Beatles. Yeah. What band? The Beatles. Oh, the Beatles. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, the Beatles. Beatles. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Amy Winehouse. Too. Amy Amy Winehouse. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Huh. Sorry, Eva, can you uh, maybe speak a little louder? Your microphone is kind of quiet, so it's hard to hear. Hey, I like uh, romantic songs and quiet music. And quiet music. I didn't hear the first one. Something Texan? Romantic. Romantic songs. Like uh, the romantic uh, and the romantic uh, song. Oh, rom ah, romantic. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Anybody else? Yeah, I like um, American ballads, uh, groups uh, that um, could play. Uh, Coldplay. Gas, Gas and Roses, uh, Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas are good, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Black Eyed Peas. Somebody said. Metallica, Rage Against the Machine, yeah. All right. Any other bands? Cry Against Machines. Rage Against the Machine. Rage Machines. Yeah, Rage they, Against. Rage against the Machines. The Machine. They, they sing or they they sound the Guerrilla Radio. Ah, oh, really? Yes. Huh. Okay. Who is huh. Guerrilla Radio? Who is Guerrilla Radio? Radio? It's Eric, can you explain it maybe a little more? Guerrilla Radio? Guerrilla Radio is uh, alternative uh, rock band music, metallic music, funk, metal, alternative music. It's an uh, old school because it's the 99 to 12 or 1000 uh, bands. Like a uh, thirty years old. Thirty years old. Okay, oh, so yeah. older music. Okay. He also like it's related to Michael Moore. You know Michael Moore. Michael Moore. It sounds familiar. Yes. It's a uh, alternative director of movies. Uh, director of Seiko. Uh, you know the the movie Seiko, or Ninety One, or Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit Four Fifty One. Yes. That was a book that I read, yeah. Yes, this is like a, a music like this, a, pro, a social protest. A protesta social. Protesta Molotov. Social. Something like, you know Molotov? Molotov, yeah. Some people were writing that in the chat. It, they said it's a Mexican band. I've never heard yes. it. Yes. Raging and not matching is like a Molotov. Ah, uh, like Rage. A, you know Street 13? It's a Spanish music, it's a reggaeton, Calle 13. Oh, yes, yeah, Street 13, uh-huh. Yeah. And Facundo Cabral, you know my Facundo Cabral? I don't think I've heard of that. <laughs> no, no, it's a Latin singer, it's like uh -huh. to, to sing uh, music to, to, to make you to sing, you sing. Ah, uh, okay. Protest music. Uh, yes, bro. Protest music, bro, okay. Cuba. From Cuba. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that well, makes no, more sense. I know, it's right. no, you know me. Justin Bieber. Okay. <laughs> okay. Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of others. The, okay, so you guys. So one thing that I've noticed. Um, I feel like a lot of people like bands that are older from the United States if they like bands from the United States, but not a lot of new things, like, do you guys like Justin Timberlake? Not really. No? Okay. Um, NSYNC, yes, but he, not much. <laughs> NSYNC, uh, they, 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 I heard of NSYNC the, when I was 12 or 15 years, I, I don't know, but no, yeah, no. Uh, 
Okay, not anymore. Okay. Not anymore. <laughs> um, Shakira's good. Yes. What was that, Eva? Sorry, it sounds like your microphone is is a kind of far from your face, like kind of like this. So maybe if you moved it a little closer. Oh, the question was, what's your favorite type of music, or what what's your favorite artist or band? So right now we're just um, just naming a few bands that we like, etc. In Egypt, I like uh, a Western ballad band and um, uh, and another and other band here in Egypt. Who don't know them. Okay. Do you uh what's what's the name of your favorite band from Egypt? Can you can you write it in the in the verbling chat? Okay. I'm trying to think I, okay, so what I was saying is um I feel like when when I when I always talk about music or when I bring it up, I feel like the bands that people from other countries tend to like are bands that are kind of older um, as opposed to maybe newer bands like what about um, I'm trying to think of some newer bands uh, like how about Vampire Weekend have you guys heard of Vampire Weekend mm, I don't think so no okay maybe it's because these ones aren't super popular they're 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 popular but they're not Mainstream. Well, no. Okay, what about this band, Tegan and Sarah? I has anybody heard of that band? No. No. Okay, maybe. Okay, I guess maybe then it's it's not uh, a big enough band for you guys to know outside of the country. Um, okay. So I know we've talked a lot about bands. Let's, but. Um, Let's move on to another topic, that one that we can talk more about besides just saying names. Um, so, what do you guys like to do for fun? So now, this topic for right now is hobbies. All right. So, I, in my free time, I like to play bass guitar and play football. Well, in the United States, you say soccer, but it's basically basically that you know playing bass guitar making songs and playing soccer okay playing soccer and and making songs I okay have a band, yeah but I was gonna we ask. broke up oh no so what happened uh we had to move I had to move to another city so I kind of had to quit you know but it's okay Okay, okay. But we we used to play rock music. It was a lot of fun. That's really cool. Um, since you said that you were in a band, one uh, website you might like um, for finding... Like, if you were still in a band, you could use this website to try and sell your music. Because I know, you know, everybody who starts a band, obviously they want to do that and make that their job, which... If I, if I were in a band, I'd love to do that too. Um, and this website kind of helps you get there. So what you do is you create an album or something, you put it on the website and you say, okay, here's our album, we're going to put it on here, and you decide how much you want to pay. And then you put it on there, and it starts out at a dollar. So that's the least amount you can pay for the album. So then it's, it's really cool because then if people are like, oh, I really like this band, then they're going to pay like, more money, so it's uh, I don't know. It's it's a way to make money. It's cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Anybody else? What do the rest of you guys do for for uh, hobbies? For your hobbies, for fun. Reading so much, and uh, I like to read, uh, and I like reading. Uh, You need to close your microphone. 
I can hear you. It sounds like you're really far away. It sounds like this. Like you're holding it over here and talking. As opposed to up here. So try moving the microphone closer to your mouth. Okay. There we go. I like reading. As all, I like reading English movies, English stories, and Arabic stories. And uh, I like watching uh, TV. And I like uh, playing games uh, on PC. And that's it. Okay. Cool. What kind of games do you like to play? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. That's a great game. Yeah. I like uh, uh, papers like uh, estimation, uh, Jack. Like this. You know it? What game? What kind of game? You can repeat again? No. Do you know papers? Estimation, Surgeon, Jack. Like do you know, do you know that? I don't think I've heard of that game. Okay. Can can you write it on the chat on the Verlink chat? Cuz maybe maybe I have heard of it. I just haven't heard it. I've seen it though. So maybe maybe try writing that. Um what else do you guys like to do for fun? Anybody that's maybe not. I, li I like to play video games like Call of Duty, Battlefield. Um, yes, Battlefield. <laughs> Wait, like which Soul game? Soldier of, Soldier of Fortune, Battlefield. You know Battlefield? Battlefield? Battlefield, yes. Battlefield, yeah. Battlefield. You yes. Have, you I've never played it, but I've heard of it, yeah. You have PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. Okay. Okay, I, I like to to play. Maybe if I put you my my ID, if you want to add me, oh, uh, you my ID teacher for play with me. Sure, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't really go on. I mean, the okay. last I have it, but it's my brother's. Yeah. Okay. And I also I like to to chat with big B W women. BW Women's? C. What is you know that? that mean? You know what that mean? A uh, big, big, beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, okay. And I like to help because I am volunteer and civil defense. And I like to help people and my community. Uh huh. Okay, for example, the field of fans like a uh, Red Cross, you know what's the main Red Cross organization? Yeah, Red Cross, of course. Yeah. And I help an organization like a Red Cross. <laughs> His name is Defense of Civil or Civil Defense. Civil Defense, okay. Yes, I volunteer there. And also I volunteer in a church and help my, the kids on my church too. Oh, and wow. I, I, do a lot of, okay, a lot, I do a lot of things. That's really cool. So you you volunteer a lot. Yes. That's really good. Good for you. Yes. And you, and you know the volunteer teacher? Yeah, I volunteer. Um, I'm part of right now. I'm part of a, an ambassador club, and um, it's not paid. And what we do is we volunteer to host people um, as part of the club. We host people like at the university students who are interested in coming here if they want to spend the night here um, then what we do is we have overnight stays at the honors college and so we say yeah they can stay in my room so then um, the leaders assign somebody to stay with us and then we um, sometimes we go to dinner with them and then afterwards we go and play games and stuff like last time we played volleyball then afterwards we hung out and played ping pong and just talked to them and Kind of gave them um, a real like a real college experience, so that they can see for themselves if they could see themselves here, like if they fit in, etc. Great, great teacher, great, good for yeah. you. Thanks. Yeah. Um, anybody else that is not shared? I feel I'm like uh, football and teacher. The, the shame of you is expression for offending a person. 
What what was that, Eric? If I say if I say uh, somebody say on you, I it's it's a fantasy expression. Offensive? Or when you say shame on you, shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. Ah, so for example, if if shame. yeah, so if you say, hey, if if I said no, Eric, I do not volunteer, then you might say, oh, shame on you, Joe, you should volunteer. If you say it like that, then it's not offensive. Does that make sense? Say so, okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, sorry, we had two people speak. It, I think it was Jose and Belin? Yes, um, I'm, I start. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm voluntary tool for, uh, in um, ONG or in D, I don't know what to say. Uh, Just try to, try and explain it. Okay, it's a, uh, we build uh, houses for the people who need it. Need them. Ah, okay. So, so you you might say you build houses for the poor. Yes. Or the yes. homeless. Yes, yes, and um, not the homeless uh, because uh, maybe there are people who live in in a house, poor house, uh -huh. uh, without a bathroom or. Uh, and so we uh, we try to to build a a better house. Okay, okay. So you okay, so they're not homeless necessarily, but they're you could say they're poor. Yes, yes, yes. And the uh, association so the the ONG OMG, uh, named uh, un techo a roof a, a roof for my country. Oh, the, that's the name of it. Yes. Okay, wow, that's really cool. So the name in, in, in Spanish, obviously, is Un Techo. That's the name of the group. Yes. 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 Oh, okay, wow, that's really cool. I like that. Any Anybody else? Any other hobbies? I feel like uh, playing football. Playing football, okay. And do you play football on a team? Or the expression um, is, do you just play pickup games? Which a pickup game is maybe, like, let's say there's a field, um, and everybody goes to the field, like, people in the community go to the field to play soccer or football, um, and um, you don't necessarily know the people. You guys just go and play pickup games, which is where you just, people meet in one place and they say hey let's play a game so they form two teams and then play that's called a pickup game does that make sense excuse me playing again okay so a pickup game so um, for let me let me explain with basketball because it's easier so you have a basketball gym and you have one court, two court, three courts. Two courts, three courts. So you have three courts and people go there to play basketball. So um, maybe I go there, that guy over there goes, that guy over there goes, John over there comes, that other guy comes. All these people go and they're shooting hoops and then they say, hey guys, let's get a game together. So then they say, okay, let's make teams. So they make teams and then they play. So before the game, they didn't know each other, but they're just playing basketball. So that's called a pickup game. Does that make sense? No. No? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think how to explain this. So, so wait, which part is confusing? So you have... Ah, uh, this is hard. <laughs> so you have... Maybe you join a league where it's an organization and... 
and you say, okay, me, you, Jose, John, Pablo, we're all going to join a team, and we play in the league. And then we're on a team, so we're part of a team. Or there's the other option where you just go maybe every Saturday. You go to the park, and you go and shoot hoops, and other people go to the park. Strangers go to the park. And then you guys decide to play a game together, a, game, a basketball game of five on five. That's called a pickup game. You're not in a league. You're not part of a team. You just go and play when there's there are other people who want to play. So it's called a pickup game because you just pick up and play. Does that make sense? Bro, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, in Spanish, aficionado. Uh, in Spanish, amateur. Amateur. See, sí, yes. What is it? Amateur? Yes. A amateur. Amateur. Okay, okay. Okay, sorry. I, tr I tried to explain that as best I could. Maybe it's, it's, it's hard. It's, 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 it's very easy explanation, so everybody has have to understand. Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe it's because of the... If you don't know the vocabulary, though, it's hard because, like, what's the league? What, you know, stuff like that. So it's it's hard. Okay. So you play football. Good. Okay, what else do you guys do? Anybody else that maybe has not answered or that would like play to? Ba play baseball too? First, so softball? No, you play softball or baseball? Baseball or softball? Okay. Yeah. Yes. I really don't understand why baseball is so... <laughs> I don't get it. You don't get it? You never like... play baseball, mate? Why are you <laughs> you call the you know. <laughs> Baseball? You live, you live, you live in, Ar in Arabia Saudita, something like that. Huh? I only know that you have to hit the ball with the, you know. That's how I know you See, know. with a ball, <laughs> with a bat, you use a bat, you hit a ball, something like that. Yeah, baseball is an interesting sport because there's no time. It's just nine innings. So it's um, it's interesting because you have all these players in the outfield and then when you're on the um, opposite side, then you're waiting for your turn to bat. So yeah, you you have you bat the you you're waiting to bat, so you're the hitter. You have somebody throwing the ball, which is called the pitcher. You have the person behind you, which is called the catcher, and when the pitcher throws it, you try and hit it. Yeah, baseball is uh, baseball is a little bit harder to pick up because you can't you can't really play baseball with four people, but like soccer or even basketball um, or volleyball, you can play with four people or less people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, any other hobbies? Well, I like drawing. I yeah. draw these things like tattoos. It's not tattoos, but looks like tattoos. Sorry, can you uh, can you say that again? It's, uh, I draw things drawing. Okay, um, it looks somehow like tattoos, but it's not really tattoos. Oh, uh, they're like tattoos, but not tattoos. That's called yeah. we call, in in American English we call that henna. Oh, I'll write it for you. H e n n a. So it's a henna is a temporary tattoo, which means it maybe will last three months. Oh, henna. Yeah. H. I think I wrote it. Let's see if it, I'll write it again. Yeah, I saw. It. Okay, okay. So you said one of your hobbies is to, I guess you would say, get henna? No, to draw. Oh, to draw henna. Ah, okay. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. I can, I don't, I'm not sure, Bob. I think I can share one of them. Yeah, if, if, you, if you have one, that'd be awesome if you could share it with us. 
All right, let's see. I'll click on your screen and then it'll stay there so we can see. Let's see. Should, there we go. All right. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so we have... Oh, there we go. Wow, you drew that. Yeah. Let me That's go back a few steps. Okay. That's really cool. That's those are really good drawings. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So when you're drawing these, what kind of things do you think about? Um, I mean like like what is this? This drawing? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Actually, uh, I don't intend to draw specific, specific things, you know. But when I'm drawing, uh, I think about a lot of things. A lot of thoughts that uh, pass my head. Wow, okay. And so, are there any uh, words in there or symbols that mean anything? Or is it just kind of um, a drawing? No, no, there's no... There's no meaning for anything. And so do people, uh, so do you draw these and do people get them tattooed like henna? Or are they just drawings? No, just drawings for me. Just drawings, okay. Yeah. How much? <laughs> Uh oh, your screen. Okay, there we go. Those are cool. That yeah, looks like. You. Huh. Uh, wait a minute. Let me show you something. Do you like? Okay. Now this one. This is an English word letters, but I made them. Uh, Using some strange shapes and yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. A cell, a seal. Yeah. Is it somebody's name? Yeah. Or just ah, okay. wow, that's really cool. Huh. Yeah, I spend my time doing stuff, and I play a lot of. Video games. You do what? Play video games. You play video games too? Yeah. Huh. Okay, well, thanks for sharing those. Those are really cool. Thank you. Alright, does anybody else have any hobbies that you'd like to share? I like to sleep. You like to sleep. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's a good hobby, I guess. Yeah. Are you are you are you, are you good at it? I think so. <laughs> oh boy. Cool. All right. Any other hobbies besides sleeping? I like uh, watch uh, television series. Like Mad Men or Breaking Bad. Oh, okay. Breaking Bad, I've I've heard of. I've never seen it, but I I know a lot of people like it. Um, Dexter. Dexter. Okay, I've heard of Dexter. I've heard it's kind of violent. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, does anybody like volleyball? I read magazines. Well, I do. Read magazines. Yeah. yeah you you like volleyball? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, volleyball I feel like is a lot of fun. Yeah, I was playing for 10 years. 10 years, wow. That's a long time. And also handball. And also racquetball, you said? Sorry, I couldn't hear that. Handball and also handball. handball. Ah, okay. Handball, I've heard of that because um, there's a student named Carlos who, uh, who's, I think he was pretty good at, at handball. But 
I don't know. I don't. That's not very common in the United States. So I've I've never played it, um, and I'd never heard about it until uh, somebody told me about it on Verbling. But volleyball, volleyball is more what than uh, handball. More, uh, more football than handball. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to check it out and, and see maybe some videos. I've I've seen pictures of handball, but never um more than that. Play teacher. You never play teacher. Jump rope. Jump rope. Yes. Jump rope, son. Yeah. Yeah, I play. I played that a little bit. Um, or not handball. Do you guys know what tetherball is? What's the name? Can you repeat it again? Here, I'll, I'll write it for you. Tetherball. It's so you have a pole like this, and you have a string. And you have a ball at the end. And one person stands on this side, and one person stands on this side. And what you try and do is get the ball to wrap all the way around the pole. And then when it, it's all the way done wrapping all the way around, and the ball hits the pole, you say, tether ball. And then if you do that, before the other person hits it back, then you win. It's, uh, it's kind of an old sport. It's not very it's popular. I don't think. So like a soccer and the pool teacher? Um it's like I'm trying to think of how I don't know what you could compare it to because it's a weird sport. It's the point of it, like I said, is to get the ball to wrap all the way around. And the other person wants it to get wrapped all the way around the other way. So you're both like hitting it back and forth and what you want to try and do is hit it over the person's head so it goes around like this and this. Oh. It's, it's like a volleyball in the pool, teacher? Kind of. I mean, you could play it in the pool. I know people, have, like, they make it for the pool, too. Uh, I've played it on the ground, but I'm not really in the pool. But um, I'll see if I can find, well, after maybe afterwards I'll post a picture of something. Yeah, I used to play it in school. That's where that's what I remember it from. Um, but it's, it's not very common, I don't think, outside of school. Uh, so... Yeah. What any other any other sports or, or hobbies that you guys like to do? Um, anything Chess. else? Chess. My hobby, my hobby, my hobby. Uh, I like to eat like empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Empanadas. Empanadas. Oh, empanadas are delicious. <laughs> They're really delicious, and they're not—they're not that hard to cook either. I made them once on a verbling class. Actually, I don't know if anybody saw that class, but yeah, empanadas are really delicious. Taco. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. What other? Okay, what other hobbies? Um, I mean, obviously practicing English. Cooking. Cooking. Cooking is a lot of fun. I like cooking. Um. Or baking too. Baking things is fun. Um, what else? Does anybody like to write? I used to write songs. You used to write? Oh yeah, for your band. Uh huh. That's really cool. Do you still write songs? Uh no. I actually spend my time writing but studying. Writing but studying. Ah oh, okay okay. Yeah, it's hard when you get to. I don't know, when you get to high school and then even after high school, you have less and less free time. Like, I used to read a lot when I was younger, um, but I stopped because in school we were required to read books. And so it was it was a little bit stressful to have, you know, one book for school, one book for me, etc. So, yeah. Yes. Same, and then it can be like that with writing, too, when you have to write lots of essays. That's true. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have four minutes Are left. Like yeah. Felipe? No, go on. No. no, 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 after you. I wasn't, I wasn't going to say anything important, just letting you know that we had four minutes. No, I was just going to say that I 
like to play poker. It's very cool. Poker is fun too. Does anybody else like to play poker? Does, does uh, everybody know what? Is. Does everybody know what? Po <laughs> does everybody know what poker is? Yes, I like to play poker sometimes. Yeah, poker is fun. Okay, so just in case you don't know what poker is, um, it's where you play games with cards. And usually betting is involved, which betting means um, like it's where you put some put some type of money in. And so you say, okay, um, I don't know, you say, I'd like to bet $2, and you put it in the middle. And then if everybody else wants to continue playing in that round, then they have to match your bet, which means they also have to put in $2, or put in however much you put in. Uh, so there's Texas Hold'em, which is, uh, I think, probably the most popular. Texas Hold'em and Blackjack, probably. Yes. Dancing. Does anybody like to dance? I like to dance at home or when I'm drunk in the party. <laughs> <laughs> yes, watch out. Country music. Yeah, I, I think... I, I don't think any... Pop? pop? Okay. Salsa is fun. Um, what other type? Samba? Do you, like Do you guys like different? to dance samba? Tango. Tango? Oh, tango? Zumba? Do you like Zumba teacher? Zumba? Do you like Zumba teacher? Yeah, Zumba, Zumba, I don't think... I don't think I've ever danced to Zumba. If you want to love... If you love... If you want to love weight, Zumba is great for you. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. I've heard of that. I've never done it, but I've heard of it. I know what you're talking about. Zumba, yeah. I think Zumba job is for exercise. I don't know. It's for fun, too. Yeah, exercise and for fun. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. Um, there are, there are Zumba game we in in PlayStation. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, I think I've heard of that or I've seen it before. It's like the interactive, like you do it with the the PSI, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, what else? Are there any other hobbies? I'm trying to think. So we said writing a little bit, reading. We've talked about most of the hobbies. I'm trying to think if there are any others. Um, hmm. Funk? That kind of, uh, funk? I don't know, tamame? Funk. What, tamame? In the, tamame in the north of Argentina, the people dance tamame. It's a, it's a type of, of dance. How do you spell it? Tamame. I've never heard of that. Tamame. It's oh, a, a, chamame? the north oh. of Argentina. It's like a balada? Mm. What, what kind of a dance is it like? Balada? A, a, two, two, a partner. A, a woman or a, a man, a man called gaucho, and they dance together. Can you dance, shaman, <laughs> or all, please? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Show you. <laughs> okay, okay, I guess we'll have to look up Chame. Alright, thanks guys, thanks for coming. Um, like I said, I I hope this helped you just kind of get comfortable because even if you were a little bit more of a, than a beginner, hopefully this class just helps you become a little bit more comfortable and maybe you can do the next class um, and just practice because the more you practice the more comfortable you'll get and the better you'll speak the language um, so hopefully you learned a few new words like chamame like that dance which I'm gonna go look up in a second um, and like tetherball and some other vocabulary that you picked up in this class but thank you guys for coming thank you for sharing um, and I hope to see you guys again soon thank thanks you, teacher. Bye, thank you. Thank you. bye see ya bye bye, bye, -bye. 
Valu Kila. Alright, Edmar, I forgot what you wanted me to say. It was like Valu Valeu Gaida or something like that. And now my screen is frozen.